So the Unbidden are an interesting bunch. They like to play a game of intergalactic, or should one say, interdimensional tag, where they basically touch your planets, and instead of you being it, they sterilize the place. Welcome, welcome to the mechanics video on the Unbidden and their friends, because yes, there are definitely more. Now the Unbidden have been updated ever since the original video came out right after launch, so I thought by myself, let's do an update on the original one. So first off, how do the Unbidden actually spawn? What is their trigger? Well, it is attached to the jump drive technology. As soon as you have the jump drive technology, the trigger will begin. 150 years average, or a median, will start where the Unbidden can potentially spawn, of course, if the Praetorians or the AI spawn during that period, they will not be triggered. However, if you add the side jump drive to your tech tree, then you also have the potential of spawning the Unbidden a little bit faster. The trigger shortens. In addition to that, if you have done the Wanderlust campaign, it goes down to about 18 years in total from that moment onwards. So effectively, you can have the Unbidden on your ass fairly early on if you go full psionic. Regardless of the trigger, once it happens, you will first receive the Galactic Power Surge event. And on top of that, this will be followed by the Unbidden and a calm window will open. Now, based on your ethics and if you're a psionic, you will be able to interact with the Unbidden in various ways. However, the result will always be the same. They want to feed on you and the rest of the galaxy. In the case of being psionic, you can ask them if they are from the Shroud. However, they claim that they know of the Shroud and they are from somewhere very nearby. But they're not from it. The Unbidden will spawn through a portal that randomly will be set somewhere within the galaxy. Now, when I say randomly, I do mean it can be pretty much everywhere. Um, it has the potential to basically start in the middle of a fallen empire, or in your neighbor, or in your capital system. Regardless, you're going to be boned because, well, as soon as they come through, they will be coming through with four fleets. Um, four combat fleets, that is, each weighing in at a base of 70,000 fleet power. And I say base here, because in 1.8, there is a modifier where the... Where, where you can set the total power of the crisis. So it could be 70k, it could be significantly more. Now these combat fleets will start spreading out from the portal. A portal you will need to destroy in order to stop them. However... They will be playing a galactic game of Tag Your It, and, well, by Tag Your It, I mean whenever planet they manage to bombard in submission, they will cleanse of pops, they will destroy all buildings, annihilate all habitats, and wreck ring worlds. However, whilst these planets have been sterilized, they will turn into terraforming candidates, so you can bring them back into the fold after you've defeated the Unbidden. At the same time, they will also have constructor fleets that will start building anchors, which are special space stations that increase the territory of the Unbidden and have to be destroyed before the portal becomes targetable. Again, the portal is indestructible if anchors exist. Now, in the past, this was a problem with the AI. However, as of 1.7, this has been addressed. Then the fun starts. Once the Unbidden controls 15% of your galaxy, and by 15%, this is not territory related, this is based on planets, or at least planets within their territory, they will trigger a second faction. They will spawn the Aberrant, which is effectively exactly the same as the Unbidden with their own portal. However, they do come with more attack fleets to balance out the power difference that the Unbidden will have at this point. They are also very aggressive towards the Unbidden, and both factions will generally attack each other as soon as they know where they are. This means you will have the opportunity, whilst they are engaging each other, to destroy the portals and, of course, the anchors. Once this happens, you will get the Extra Dimensionals Fight Each Other event. Now, this will start, to, uh, this will start a timer of 40 months, which 
will trigger a third faction to spawn, which is called the Vehement. They're basically a copy of the Aberrant in terms of spawning mechanics. They will also build anchors like the other ones, and they, of course, need to be destroyed before the portal can be attacked. Now, of course, they have uh, more fleets. They've got more ships. I believe they spawn with six fleets or eight fleets, depending on the difficulty level that you're playing as. Now, all you gotta do now is fight through wave after wave after wave of spawning the ships until you have closed the portal. So, how do we effectively defeat them? So, the Unbidden solely use mass disintegrators, which can be reverse engineered after you destroy a fleet. They do a rather large amount of damage, it will ignore 50% of armor, and it will do 50% additional damage to shields. They have jump drives, but they have absolutely zero armor, which means they're very vulnerable once their shields have been penetrated. Because of this, a combination of energy torpedoes and kinetic artillery is incredibly useful. You could also throw a little bit of plasma in there so you can attack the portal, because the portal has a significant amount of armor. The thing is, is that you want to engage them from as far away as possible. The battleships of the Unbidden only have a range of 80, which means that you can outrange them with kinetic batteries and basically destroy their shields and then their hull armor. Again, you want to engage them on your terms and as from far away as possible. Extra-dimensional invaders will get reinforcements a lot faster than you can build them. Every single ship lost is a problem. And one thing that you can exploit, however, is their lack of main tracking ability. The craft have significant difficulty doing tracking due to the way their matter disintegrators work. So, in adding combat computers with high evasion is relatively he uh, useful here. Finally, for those of you who own Utopia, you can have an Ascension perk called Guardian of the Galaxy, where you will be able to do a 50% damage to all extra-dimensional invaders, and of course, this also applies to all of the other crises. An additional 50% damage is not bad at all, especially when you're outnumbered and outgunned. So once you've pushed them back to whatever hell dimension they came from, you will receive a fairly large amount of unity. And that's pretty much it. Much it. Congratulations, half the galaxy is now sterilized, but you managed to make it, and it's now time to finish the game. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about the lore and the backstory behind these uh, extra dimensionals, the Unbidden, the Vehement, the Aberrant, you can go and check out the Spiffing's Brit channel as he's currently doing a series on lore. So, yeah, more details about the throne, whatever that is. And of course, if you want to see more mechanics and continue checking out the channel, um, uh, we got a lot of them here. We're currently working at about 40 of them, and there are many more, more to come in the future. If you feel free to subscribe, that's fine by me. If you like this video, you know, feel free to drop it a like. If not, the dislike button is there as well. And as always, until next time, take good care of yourselves. And of course, eat.